The MG-29 is a fighter heavily inspired by the MiG-29 fulcrum of Soviet origin. This plane is famously used by diplomat, Stardust and possibly a Ukrainian ghost that may or may not be real. Unlike most non-prototype fighters in this game, the MG-29 has a backstory in its origins of where it was built. This plane was designed and developed in the Federation state of Magadan and has been a popular fighter throughout the world. According to Hidman 2, this plane is worth multiple millions of dollars. With a quick rundown of the law done, let's look at the performance and characteristics of this plane. The MG-29 is classified as a mid-tier fighter with a modest speed and maneuverability. Perfect for getting most missions done on any difficulty barring modifiers. Because it is a fighter, all three of its slots can equip air-to-air -air missiles, specifically the MLAA. You can stack up to 6 of them on this plane. Of course, you can add extra standard missiles or SAAs if you so choose. If however, your mission is more ground oriented, there are air to ground weapons such as bombs, rockets and MLAGs. While you can stack up to 4 bombs, don't bother as they have a small blast radius and there are more better options that are more accurate. I personally use the rockets and MLAG because they are in my opinion far better, more effective and easier to aim than bombs. Not to mention that I use the rockets as an effective anti-air weapon as well. You can learn about why I prefer using rockets in another video I made. This plane also has standard missiles and an MGP but I'm pretty sure you know how to use those so I won't go deeper into it other than using them in tandem with whatever special weapons you have to maximize your combat effectiveness. These tactics are especially useful for bosses such as Crimson Squadron because nobody wants to hear what their leader says. capabilities of this plane already covered, let's move on to the defensive. For those that don't know what I mean, 
It's about the modules and you have a choice between two options. The first is the flares which is the most effective module for the plane as it will take off the heat of any missile that tries to approach you. It's especially useful for missions where you know trying to dodge without them is ineffective. The other option is the more fun one which is the AOA limiter or as I like to call it, the Euro Beam module. Use it to pull fancy maneuvers, maybe dodge missiles and set up counter attacks on the enemy to show who they are really trying to fight, like this. With all the important stuff out of the way, I'll briefly go over the non-important stuff. What is that you may ask? It's the skin selection of course. You have up to 6 of them which is actually a lot for a mid-tier plane like the MG29. You have the Monarch skin, the Grey Federation skin, the Blue Federation skin, Diplomat's plane, the Crimson Federation skin, which has no relation to Crimson Squadron whatsoever, and finally, the Stardust skin. If none of these skins interest you, then let me introduce you to the skin mods over at Nexus Mods. They have a few skins to choose from if the skins in game don't fancy you. That is it for the video and thank you for watching. Remember to go out there to shut Crimson 1 up, bring independence to Cascadia and shoot down 6 totally not Russian fighters on your first day of combat. If you enjoyed this edgitting video, go ahead and like the video and subscribe for more. Don't forget to vote for the next plane you want me to cover and I'll see you in the next one.